the great jawaharlal nehru at one point of time he was very fascinated ungalku theriyum even to write the constitution of india he wanted edward jennings he said that he should write the indian constitution so that you can bring all the fancy ideas that he was used to probably when he was educated he wanted edward jennings to come and write the indian constitution of many good things mahatma gandhi did i think this is one of the greatest thing that he did is he stopped nehru from calling edward jennings to write the constitution of india he said it is dr b r ambedkar who should write and maybe it's a it's a twist with destiny that b r ambedkar ji wrote the constitution of india not edward jennings adan piraganga nehru avargal he called historian arnold toynbee to address the azad memorial lecture when it was an annual lecture series pandit jawaharlal nehru as the prime minister of our country he invited him in 1960 arnold toynbee to come and address this lecture i am just quoting what arnold toynbee at that point of time said in his lecture in 1960 he said aurangazeb converted this temples with the deliberate in- intention of insulting his political opponents the same intention which the russians had in building the orthodox church in the center of warsaw poland when the issue of ram temple was picking up the old issue after independence it was still continuing when there was a lot of disputes about the places of worship act whether we should restrict it to only that or we should go on reclaiming all the culture and civilization of glory that we have lost at different points of time a victor deliberately insulting a practicing religion by putting up some structure because they wanted to convey a message in the mari pala discussion irukum bolunga peak of the discussion in the azad memorial lecture he says aurangzeb converted this temples with the deliberate intention of insulting his political opponents nero in his own wisdom chose not to listen to the guest whom he invited in the first place to deliver the azad memorial lecture neenga paarenga even the statue of george 5 which was adorning delhi was not removed till pandit jawaharlal nehru's last breath remove pannave illai adha vandu jawaharlal nehru avargal iranda piragu 1968 george 5 was removed appo nammalukku or chinna or paasam ayyo george 5 poitaaru ana canopy apdi vechikalam you see how we are attached to lot of things that is absolutely foreign to us 1968 george five was taken out but canopy was standing there without anybody then he took our narendra modi ji step 2 to bring netaji subhash chandra bose to the same canopy to put so in the context nam purinjikanga it is very important it is very important to understand the context when poland got absolute independence or probably when it saved itself from the occupation the first thing warsaw people and polish people did is they broke the russian orthodox church that is built in their country they rebuilt it with catholic church which is their practicing faith every country has done it inga ellarum pannirka a victor an aggressor who came who put their symbol as a resistance for a long point of time all over the world people did it but india mari or nadu la paathinga na it was a very touchy subject we were never willing to have a conversation or to go deep into it however even in the case of george 5 remove only the statue but the canopy should be there at least canopy paathu konjal sandoshama irukalam then we have to bring netaji subhash chandra bose there